right, second grade. The first thing I need you to do is the same thing we do every day. You need to turn your attention towards our reading goal and read and when you have, then I want you to Remember, if you don't read it now and I call your name, you might have to read it anyway, so it's better to read it first so you know what you'd be saying in front of class. I'm going to give my friends five more seconds. Your stuff's next door, Bentley. All right, let's see who's going to be reading our reading goal. Eli! We know how to read at a just right angle. I didn't write that word pretty nicely, but that's P-A-C-E. Thomas should check. Thank you. Thank you. What did we say this morning? Magic E. Great job, Eli, working through that word. All right, so if nothing else, by the end of this lesson, I want you to read at a just right pace. How many people have read the story Goldilocks? Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Or maybe you saw the movie or... A TV show about it. Pretty much everyone. Okay, great. So, do you remember that part in Goldilocks and the Three Bears where she's eating porridge and she goes, Oh my goodness, this is too hot. Yeah. yeah. And then this part where she goes, Oh, that's so cold. And then she comes in and she's like, This is just that's right. right. How many people remember that? Thumbs up. I remember the whole book. Right, so second grade, that's just how your reading is. Sometimes you read too fast and all the words blend together and it makes it really hard to understand. And sometimes you read too slow and you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't understand the book, right? Because you're trying to sound out the words. I will get to you in a minute. All right. Well, today I'm going to show you what adjust right pace because sometimes we have to adjust our speed. Sometimes the book may say, read a little faster. I want you to pick this part up. And sometimes it'll say, I want you to read this part a little slower. Like when we see those three dots afterwards and we know we should take a breath, right? And some we should just adjust as we go to find our just right speed. Okay? So, I'm going to read. And when I read, I would like you to, if you see me reading too fast or too slow, to say, Stop! Miss West, you're reading too fast or too slow. Riley, only warning. All right. So let me turn this off. Turn your attention towards our smart board as I start to read our page out loud. All right. Ready? What are you supposed to say if I read too fast or slow? Stop! Okay. Ready? One night, Hounsley and Katina were sitting Stop! outside. Stop! What? You're coming too fast. Oh, my goodness. Okay. All right. Ready? One. Stop! What? I only got one word. You didn't even You're let me go it past too it. Slow. Yeah. Yeah. You need to do it at the right level. Are you telling me the book doesn't want me to read that way? No. Okay, all right, all right. Let me try again. Fast and slow at the same time. Mm -hmm. One night, Housley and Katina were sitting outside watching fireflies. This was one of their favorite things to do together. They sat quietly for a long time. How do you think that one went? Yeah! All right, let me try one more. I just want to see, because we said rereading helps us as readers, right? Yeah. 
in an earlier lesson. So let me reread that one more time. One night, Housley and Katina were sitting outside watching fireflies. This was their favorite thing to do. They sat quietly for a long time. What do you think? What sound better? One, my last one, or two, the one I just read? Show me on your hand. Two. One, two. Two. So the first just right reading pace or the second one? Which one looked even better? Ooh, I see a lot of twos. Josie, do you have a question? You know what? I might have. But thank you for pointing it out. That's why we reread, right? Sometimes we may miss words. So I see a lot of people thought two sounded better. And that's because when I reread, I could find my just right reading pace. All right. So now that I've done this and you've watched me try and find that pace, you're going to read with me, okay? Just like Goldilocks, we're going to have to try a little bit to figure out which one. So, we're just going to read the first sentence. Okay. Okay. All right? Uh -huh. Do you have a quick question, Leland? All right. Can it wait till we're finished? All right. Here we go. Sit down. All right. Ready? Uh -huh. We can read it together. At last, Houndsley said... I did not need a new set of pots and pans. Stop. All right, so that was it. Now let's try it a little faster. Remember, we've got to try the different porridges, right? A little faster, a little slower, a little faster. Okay, so let's read this one really fast and see if it sounds right. You ready? At last, Townsley said, I did not need a new set of pots and pans. What do you think? I could stack up. No, maybe, maybe a little slower. Should we try a little slower? Yeah. Yeah, okay, you ready? At last, Houndsley said, I did not need a new set of pots and pans. What do you think? Better? One, yeah. Better? 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 Are we there yet? Do you think one more time? One more time. One more. All right. I'm going to let you read this one to me. So just you read it. Go ahead. like skilled readers you really do so we've worked on our just right reading pace fast and slow and we're working on finding it so right now I need you to get up find a partner silently when you found your partner I want you to catch a bubble Aaron and Dominic. Dominic, I've now said your name twice. You now need to go to take a break. Only take a break. Does it matter? You were talking with Aaron. Aaron, this is your only warning. Please find another partner set to read with quickly. All right. You will only read the next sentence, but you're going... Who is your partner, Chloe? All right, Sabrina, that is not your partner, so there you go. You and your partner will read the next sentence. Watch my finger. This is the only sentence you and your partner are going to read, starting I only wanted to win that contest to show everyone I was the best cook. Stop. All right? And you and your partner are going to read it out loud together. Does that mean one person's going to take a turn and then another? No. No, you and your partner are going to read together, and if you think you're going too fast or too slow, you're going to tell your partner to stop or say stop out loud so that you know to restart. Are you ready? Yes. All right, begin. I Oh dear, so that was a little slow. So let's try one more time. Find a just right reading pace. Ready? Go.
All right. So that sounded really good the second time. It sounded like a just right reading pace. You tried it a little slower. You got a little faster. I heard some people even add expression. They change their voice to make it happy or sad. All right. So reading isn't just about changing your voice or reading at a just right reading pace. You've got to combine all the things I'm teaching you together. All right. So today our reading goal was we know how to read at the just right reading pace. Just like Goldilocks, we're not going for too fast, we're not going for too slow, but we're going for just right. All right. So what I would like to know is fist to five. How well do you think you know how to read at that just right reading pace? I don't know at all. I know it so well. I could teach you, Miss West, and every number in between. Maybe you sort of do. Maybe you're like, Maybe you say yes, but I don't want to teach you. <laughs> All right, show your, your hands. Three, two, one. Ooh, I see a lot of threes, fours, and fives. That's wonderful. So as we go through our reading today, I want you to really work on that skill so that you could go from a three to a four or a four to a five. All right? Tell someone next to you what you're going to do in your reading um, today. You can get up and go to take a break. Silently stand up, go to your table, and sit down. And I can give you the instructions from there.